What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Rage and Rona review. I got a review for you. I saw Den of Thieves. It's an action thriller from director Christian Gudegast, and it stars Gerard Butler, Pablo Schreiber, O'Shea Jackson Jr., and 50 Cent. Now, this film is a heist film, and I've seen a lot of heist films. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of heist films, and they operate in a very, very similar fashion. Every single heist film has a formula to it. And I gotta say that this is a little bit different and I'm really quite happy or rather satisfied with the outcome. This film is about a big heist, like a big, big heist. It's not about a bunch of little heist, heists that work their way up to a bigger heist. It's about a big heist. And once this film opens up, it introduces you to the, um, to the, um, uh, I guess the, uh, the robbers in a big, big fashion. It really just brings you right into the action and it works its way towards something bigger at the very very end and it's your typical formula but what I think makes this film work is that um, we got some great characters in here really honestly speaking I was a little bit uh, concerned if I was really gonna like this film I wasn't even sure if I was even gonna watch this film just because when I watched the trailer I was thinking this is such a typical looking heist film it's like you've seen one you've seen them all if you've seen uh, Heat uh, from director Michael Mann with Robert De Niro Al Pacino then there's no need to watch any other heist film but I think this is pretty decent and I think it has to do with the fact that Pablo Schreiber he's a pretty good um heist leader like a gang leader and Gerard Butler I think this is his best role since King Leonidas in 300 I really like him in this role and you know I've seen him in um you know uh what is it London has fallen or Olympus has fallen and he's good in that but I really like him in this one and it has a lot to do with the way his character is like he's hard as nails you know he's a tough guy you know I don't I expect nothing less but I just I like watching him on screen the way he talks to his peers the way he talks to his superiors and the, the way he the way his his character is in general and uh it makes him like a really, really strong, no-nonsense type of guy, and I really like that about his character. But there's really nothing new, to be completely honest. It's just his portrayal of that character, which I really, really like. And as for Pablo Schreiber, you know, also a tough guy, uh, but, um, you know, he leads his crew, and he plays it really, really convincingly. And I think there's more at stake there because of, of O'Shea Jackson Jr.'s character because he's kind of like in between the two, which I also really liked. So it provides that... Um, uh, that element of the film where it's not just good and bad but there's also a neutral character so that was really really cool and um, this film it has a really really good build up to to um, to the ending um, you know it you know there's that, that huge process of, of um, you know talking about the heist and 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 and, and um, working out how it's going to be executed and always being one step ahead of the good guys or the good guys being a step of the uh, a step ahead of the the bad guys uh, but um, in any case there's a lot of cliches there that we've seen before but I think I didn't really mind them because what more can you really do in a heist film so I think at the end of the day a heist film is a heist film it's just the characters that define um, how different this heist film is and I think it does it enough that that um you know, it keeps it interesting. And to top things off, this is a, 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 a heist film that's got a hard R rating. Like, that level of violence also keeps the, um, the, uh, uh, um, this film uh, more interesting because it really is an extension of what the characters are like and how serious they are. So that was pretty cool. Um, and I, I, like the, um, I like the story. I think the story is decent. Now, is this like, like a groundbreaking action film? I don't think any heist film is except for Heat. Um, any heist film that comes afterwards, honestly speaking, don't expect anything but but mindless popcorn fun. And I think you should go into this film with that kind of attitude because I think at the end of it all, um, you know, it's all entertainment and you'll come out pretty satisfied. And I think I was satisfied. I'm going to give this film a 6 out of 10. I mean, it's definitely above average. I mean, you got some really, really great characters. And just watch it for Gerard Butler. He's pretty good in this film. So, a 6 out of 10, all right? And uh, I hope you check it out. I also hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter, Rage Nation. My name is Alex Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.